just to the northeast of Paris is the heart of the Champagne region of France. We're traveling there today by high-speed train. The city of Rheims is world famous for its Gothic cathedral and many historic monuments. This plaque commemorates the arrival of Joan of Arc in 1429 for the coronation of Charles VII. And there are numerous war memorials for the battles that were fought in the course of two world wars. And the many orchards and vineyards and sculpted gardens that surround some amazing Gothic architecture give the whole region a very park-like setting. Oh, and of course, they do make champagne here. The famous and not-so-famous champagne houses all have cellars here. They have tours, and they have tastings, and they have a tremendous amount of history. But they also have a terrific car museum. On the far side of town is an eclectic collection of some very unusual cars. Now, many of these brands you've heard of, and you may be familiar with actually some of the individual vehicles. There are examples of many European cars from the 20s and 30s and into the 70s. There's racing cars, economy cars, and sports cars. But I think what I enjoy the most are the one-off, prototype, and low-production cars. These are the offbeat cars that you've never heard of and give you quite an education. I mean, have you ever heard of a Radovich? Or how about this gem from 1947, mid-engine, Ford V8, designed by a racing driver, only a few in the world, they've got one. All of them hoping to make it as big as Porsche, or Peugeot, or maybe even Andre Citroën. Speaking of Citroën, they have a Ducheveau with no body, so you can see the horizontal suspension. And yes, there have been car designers that believe the world wanted to drive around in some sort of front-loading Maytag washer. Oh, and they have crazy motorcycles too. Everything from a tandem moped with a sidecar to something that you might actually want to ride. This driving simulator from the 60s lets the instructor throw road hazards at the student. But I didn't see a button for texting teens. There are lots of great reasons to visit Rems in the Champagne region of France. From the Gothic architecture to the beautiful parks. History buffs are never going to run out of monuments and historic sites throughout the region. And if you're in a town that's world famous for Champagne, you should definitely take a tour of the cellars. But you know me, I'm all about the cars, and there is a terrific collection of some pretty unusual ones just on the other side of town. Getting to Rems is now easier than ever. There's direct, high-speed TGV train service right from Gare de l'Est in Paris. I'm a little over six feet tall and there's actually more leg room than there was on my airplane flight over. Parts of the trip are over 180 miles an hour, but you do get to see a part of France other than Paris. Just out in front of the station is where the city buses line up. Check the maps on the shelters for the routes and times. Their light rail system serves the center of town but doesn't go out as far as the car museum. Thank you for joining me on another car adventure. And I'll see you next time.